And when I started it, I wasn't even cognizant of the fact that women didn't normally do that. I mean, I was just so caught up in what I felt like God was telling me to do. And it was being successful. Watch this. I'm going to play it again so somebody can watch it. Pay attention, okay? The pauses. The pauses. Like, she's... There's some hesitations in it, okay? She's holding. Like, she's like, should I say this or should I not say it? Is it... I never really felt called just to teach women. I really felt like that the same word was for everybody and that I was going to teach everybody, not, yeah. not just. <laughs> How many times are you going to say everybody? Who else is in everybody? You can just say men. That's it. Simple. Okay. If you, if you actually, if it's actually that, you can like everybody. How many times are you going to say everybody? It is improper for a woman to speak in church. Now let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're back with another video. We're back with another video. If you're new here, make sure to put Jesus Christ first. Comment below what you think about this video. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. You get what I mean? You know, I always teasing. I say, I didn't know women couldn't teach till people started telling me <laughs> that they couldn't. Right. I didn't know women couldn't teach till people start telling me, okay? Till people started telling me. That's probably what she meant. But now, you want to be part of a game that you don't you do not understand. You want to play a game that you do not understand. That you don't instead of teaching people, people are the ones teaching you. Okay. She said people were telling me that women are not hit. She did not know this. You want to be a pastor, you don't know this. This is like a this is like one of the first things to become a pastor. You gotta know this. And whoever it is next to you, I'm pretty sure if you want to be a pastor, you're gonna have to be under somebody that's already a pastor right so whoever's on top of you gonna have to tell you this that women are not supposed to be pastors women are not supposed to be teaching if they do not tell you this that means they're just false teachers too this is just facts man you want to be part of a game that you do not understand that you do not know about you want to be teacher people telling you that that you're not supposed to that women are not supposed to be teaching you're a woman come on man do not pretend you did not know this do not pretend. They know, but they pretend not to know. That's a fact. And so in this church that we were going to, they felt like that I wasn't supposed to be teaching, that Dave should be mm -hmm. teaching. They felt like I wasn't supposed to be teaching. That dude was supposed to be one teaching. What do you mean they've, they've, they don't feel like, okay? It is what God said. It's not how they feel. Like, oh, you will feel like you're not supposed to be doing this. Just like, oh, it, it is based on what feelings? It's not based on, on somebody's feelings, okay? It is based on the Bible. It is based on the Bible, dude. So do not say they're feeling. Her saying that they're feeling is like saying it all depends on them, okay? They were the ones coming up with the rules. No. No. Come on, man. They probably didn't didn't say, didn't say it would feel like you're not supposed to. They probably told her that you're not supposed to. But now she is putting it as we, they're like, they felt like I wasn't supposed to be teaching. They probably told her that the Bible, the Bible this Bible says women are not supposed to be teachers. But now she's saying as if they were the one feeling it, coming up with the law, the rules. No. I remember going out of the church one Sunday and the pastor looking at Dave and he said, brother, you should be teaching that Bible study, not your wife. That's a fact. So wait a minute, what a minute, what a minute. So that is her husband right there. That is her husband right there. You telling me that he did not tell her that women are not supposed to be teaching? Did somebody else had to come and tell her that she is not supposed to be teaching that her husband is the one that's so he's a false teacher too he's gotta be because if this i don't even know who that man is you know i don't i don't want to put him in a category where he's not he doesn't he does not belong but again if she's you know apple does not fall far from the tree okay your environment the people that you hang out with that's who you become most of the time i'm not gonna say always most of the time, okay? So, the, the influence that they have on you. If she's a false teacher, I'm, I'm pretty sure that man is probably in the same in the same range. I don't know who it is. You guys can comment below and let me know, man. Let me know. I would dig into it, too. 
I will, I will, I will dig into it. Yeah, trying to know who that man is. First Timothy chapter two and verse twelve. I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. So, because the Bible says so, um, and that's it. That's exactly what I said. Because the Bible said it. Okay, the Bible said it. Then it is what it is. There's no argument. That's why I said this in my other video too. We do not. The word is final. It is clear. Anybody that can read can understand it. Anybody that can hear can understand it. It does not matter what language you speak. There's a version. There's a Bible version with your language on it. Okay? So you would understand this if you read or if you hear, you would know what it means. And what did you think when he said that? I mean, how did you well, feel? Well, I mean, I, you know... At the same time, him saying it, I'm I'm thinking, uh, you know, that, you know, why did God not give me the gift? Why did he give it to her? Why did? Oh, so that man is not a pastor. Okay, so he's not a pastor. He's just. Okay, okay. Then I get it. Okay. Now it makes sense to me. So he's not a pastor. He's her husband. She's the one that's a pastor. Okay. Now, him saying that God gave her the gift of teaching, of being a pastor, it's like saying God is going against his own word. That really makes me mad. And I see many of these people, they're always saying this, man. They're always trying to turn, okay, trying to twist the scriptures and then so it can so it can suit, okay, so it can suit to the the the, the atrocities, okay. To the abominations that they are doing out there the other thing is well what if a person feels like they have gifts to do that uh, no one gets to do everything they feel like they're gifted at no one does you know that's real right there it, i don't know what is odd on it you get what i mean so here's the thing look at me let me tell you something there's no differences in any of us we're all equal here today it doesn't matter that I'm up here and you're out there. That doesn't mean anything to God. I'm up here because he's gifted me to be up here. Okay. First thing. When she said we're all equal. Okay. We are all equal. We are all equal. It doesn't matter if I'm up here, you're down there. We're all equal. First of all, she is trying to... Right there is... She's trying to defend. Okay. She's defending the part of... Okay, I was gonna say she's defending the part of men are not well, the women are not supposed to be teachers, but men are. She's trying to kind of defend that part and, and kind of you know trying to push the part of where she's a she's a pastor, okay, knowing that she's not supposed to be. She's trying to kind of put herself equal to men. That doesn't mean anything to God. I'm up here because He's gifted me to be up here. And she said, He has gifted me to be up here. I keep seeing people lying, okay? I keep seeing people lying and using the name of God on it. I, this is bad, man. This is bad. This is very bad. He's gifted me to be up here. How? When? Where? Okay, he did not gift you to be up there. You, you guys just choosing, okay? You you guys picking, choosing stuff, and then adding the name of God on it. Lying, that is a lie. I really didn't want to start a women's Bible study because I specifically felt like that God had given me a scripture in Philippians two that I was to hold out to all men the word of God. So, what if a man who has several wives feels like he's gifted to be a pastor the bible says he must be the husband of one wife right so just because you feel like you're gifted to do something that doesn't give you the right to overthrow biblical qualifications i never really felt called just to teach women i really felt like that the same word was for everybody and that i was going to teach everybody not yeah. not just women and so Okay, pay attention, okay? Pay attention. 
I never really felt called just to teach women. I really felt like that the same word was for everybody and that I was going to teach. Okay, so many pauses, okay? So many pauses, it means something. It means something that she deep down there does not want to say what she wants to say. I am not tripping, okay? I am not tripping. She doesn't want to say what she want to say. She's being, you no, know, she's she's forcing to say it because she knows she knows that what she's saying is not correct. She knows that she's lying. She, I'm gonna tell you, like, she want to say, I was gifted to teach women and men, okay? Women and men. She that's what she want to say, but she does not want to. She because she knows deep down there that it is wrong, that she is lying. Watch this. I'm gonna play it again so somebody can watch it. Pay attention, okay? The pauses, the pauses like she's there's some hesitations in it, okay? She's holding like she's like, Should I say this or should I not say it? Is it pay attention, okay? You don't have to be. Uh, a genius to see this okay watch i never really felt called just to teach women i really felt like that the same word was for everybody and that i was going to teach everybody not yeah. not just <laughs> how many times are you going to say everybody who else is in everybody you can just say man that's it simple okay if you if you actually if it's actually that even like everybody, how many times are you going to say everybody? Watch this. That the same word was for everybody and that I was going to teach everybody, everybody, not, yeah. not just women. And so. <laughs> and so you're not, you're not supposed to be teaching. No, you, that's a lie right there. You're not, you lying. You're lying. No, I disagree with this. Come on, man. That's why you are holding back because you know that you know that it is wrong. That's why you're holding back. It's, it's not correct what you're saying. Watch this. First Timothy chapter two and verse 12. I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. It is clear, man. It is clear. It's just it's just a fact. That office is exclusively for men. Um, that's the office of the pastor teacher. Um, so if the office is exclusively for men and the Bible is very clear that women are not to teach or exercise authority over men, there's absolutely no room um, for women to be in that office or to exercise that authority in the church. Anything else anybody want to add on to this? Because I, I feel like, yes, we, we've got enough of this. we got enough of this. What do you guys think about this, man? Comment below, comment, comment. Again, I'm not trying to attack these people. I just hate when people sit on camera, they lie, and they add the name of God to it, man. That is a lie. Make sure to put God first. Comment below what you think about this, man. Get your Bible. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Do not, do not stop reading till, you, till the day you die, okay? Even when you go to heaven, keep on reading the Bible. You get what I mean? Comment below, man. Comment. God is everything, man. Jesus Christ is Lord. And then uh, know the word for yourself so you will not be deceived. Okay? All these false churches, prosperity gospel people, they are everywhere. The devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. You know, the devil is not just going to come and devour you, okay? Because when, when the scripture says like that, it, people just thinking, like, yeah, the devil's going to come, he's going to grab me, he's going to devour me. No, that's not how it works. The devil, this is how the devil devours people, okay? Little by little, okay? He comes small, 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 small steps. It, it would take him like 1,000 years, okay, to devour an entire planet, okay? But he's going to devour the planet. He comes little by little by little by little, okay? And that's exactly what this is. You, when, when somebody say, oh, why we did not have women pastors all these years? Because the devil was working on coming up with it, okay? A lot of people back then knew that, yeah, it's, you're not supposed to have women, okay? But devil, the devil is finding ways, okay? He's finding ways to, 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 you know, to bring perversion in the word of God. That, that's exactly what it is. And then he comes little by little by little. He devours people by using all these false teachers to put out the, you know, to, to twist the word of God and get people to believe in these false teachers, believing in the things that they are saying. That's how the devil devours people. 
My people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. That's how the devil devours you because he he's distracting people. He's creating a dis, 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 distractions. Okay, he's he's creating distractions from this Bible, from the Word of God, so you can easily be led astray. Because if you don't know the Word, how would you know that what you are doing is is right or wrong? You will not know if you don't know the word of God. You get what I mean? Get a Bible read. I'm out. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ is Lord.